Okay. So the chapter two, part E, marketing requirements. So, um, so real estate development marketing, right? Says the developer must satisfy requirements before they can make a. Yeah. yeah. So must satisfy. Developer must obtain approval prior to entering. So, so prior approval basically, entering into a contract with the buyer from the superintendent, right? So basically, superintendent must give you approval. Developer must provide a disclosure statement. So hire a disclosure statement. Each buyer must be given the opportunity to read it. The purchaser can rescind the contract, which means cancel, right? In writing to the developer within seven days. For example, you buy a lot, right? If it's within BC, you can cancel within seven days. The date and purchase agreement was made, right? The date the developer obtained a written statement from the purchaser acknowledging that the purchaser had an opportunity to read the approval disclosure statement. Failure for the developer to comply. So how much is the fine? Up to $100,000 for first offense. Up to $200,000 for following offenses, right? Subsequent. For a first offense, fines up to $100,000 for individual or maybe imprisonment for up to two years. So right. either you pay or you spend two years in jail. Yeah, yeah, or both. Usually the yeah, they yeah. Really. For the second offense, fines up to four four point two million. Okay, four point two million. Yeah. And imprisonment. So they are very strict, right? Yeah. And uh, the district council can discipline a tenancy who fails to comply to provide a buyer with a disclosure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so practically in this one, uh, what you have learned is once you become a rep, right? Yeah. So what can you do being a rep? You can sell a house, you can do the property management, uh, you can't do property management, but you can uh, rent a property with a property management license, right? Yeah. And uh, you want to be the associate broker, what do you do? Associate broker, sir. associate broker. So once you pass the test, yeah. you are six months into the business, you can register for the associate broker course, a managing broker. But you can use it when? After two, two years. Two years. After two years. And and the managing broker, what does he do? He manages the other realtors. Associate broker, you just only manage yourself. Okay? And uh, and then the registered counsel. So how many members in a council? Sixteen. 16. So there are all over BC. There are three. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, Bali. Um. So what we're working on is getting a real estate license to sell houses, right? Eh? Oh, okay. What's yeah. the difference between that and associate broker? Associate broker. Once you become a realtor. Yeah. Once you are into the business for six months. Oh, okay. Then after that you can register a course. Oh. It's called managing broker. Oh. You can do that course, but once you pass the test, but you can use it after. Two years. Oh. If you open your own company, RobbyRealty.com, yeah. right? Yeah. So then you are associate broker. Oh. If you employ your brother yeah. to work for you, yeah. then you are a managing broker. So you are managing others now, oh. right? Wow. But you can do it after two years, okay. right? Similarly, then there is a real estate council. So in real estate council, there are sixteen members. So how many? It's a reps. There are only three reps all over BC yeah. to become the member. And nine managing brokers, and Stella, and one Stella manager, and three laymen. Laymen mean they are no realtor government appointed them. Oh. Okay, so this mostly comes in the exam. So they ask you, what is the age of the real estate? Uh, what age you can be licensed? Nineteen. 19. I think, right? yeah, yeah. Yes. What age you can do the course? Eighteen. 18. Oh, okay. What age you can be a managing broker, asset broker? Okay. 19 years you are licensed, then after two years, right? Of experience. Yeah, and uh, what the real estate council do? They they issue your license, they, they actually renew your license every two years, they can suspend your license, they can cancel your license, they can make you do certain courses, right? Then 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 the real estate developer. So what uh, what the real estate developer when they subdivide a property or they sell the strata units 
But uh, if they don't follow the guideline, what is the fine for them? Hundred thousand dollars. Thousand for first offense. Right. Or two or two years. Right. Oh yeah. Two years. And one point four two. Right. Right. And and uh, two years. Right. Four point two million. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, uh, they're pretty strict. Right. Yeah. And uh, and how many within within seven days you can uh, rescind? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And uh, that's it.